Behind the building at my farm, I have six fence posts just sticking out of the ground. Look like they're doing nothing. The outside ones are on a bit of an angle, and the two middle ones are straight and parallel. By the corner of my building, I've got a couple of well-burnt car hoods. These car hoods needed to have the paint burned off because that's how this thing works. I lean them up against the outside posts that are on a slight angle and put them there on each way to deflect wind while I have a nice roaring hickory fire underneath. What you just seen outside was half of the setup I have for my pig roasting device. It's a red deck device as I made it of old car parts and a bicycle sprocket. It consists of a long galvanized pole that's hollow, the sprocket, and a minivan, Chrysler minivan, windshield wiper motor. All these wiper motors are two speeds. The sheet metal around it is just a heat deflector, so I don't cook my motor. And a 6 and 12 volt battery charger for the power supply. That gives me actually four different speeds. I can choose 6 or 12 volts and two different speeds there on the wires. On the end of the wiper motor, I've welded a small sprocket of about 10 or 11 teeth, same size as bicycle chain, and then a bicycle crank sprocket, to an old motorcycle sprocket just as a drive pub, you know, and that's welded to the shaft. And this hole, and the hole in that pipe is how it mounts on those fence posts outside. And of course, when you do a pig roast, you've got to have lots of chicken wire because you've got to tie the body up really tight and wrap it because as the meat cooks, it falls off the bone and you'll end up having your poor piggy in the fire and no good dinner. So now you can see that this device is installed on my fence posts. It has adjustable set screws so I can raise and lower it depending on how vigorous the fire is. I just run an extension cord out from my building set the battery charger away from the fire over here on the ground and just clamp the things to the wires. Simple as that. There's my little adjuster screw so I can set how many bumps up and down I want to on my T-post. Same thing on the other end. Throughout the pipe I've got some holes drilled through it. There you can see a piece of heavy wire in one of the holes. Well if you stick a pole through a pig's body after you've gutted it and expect it to spin, it won't, even though the pole's spinning. There's no friction. So what I do is I drill some holes through the pig's spine, through the back end, and through the neck end. And I've got three attachment points then where I run a heavy-duty wire right through the carcass, and then pull it through and tie it around the body. And that gives me my drive points to turn 100 pounds of meat. All the while, well wrapped tightly in chicken wire. Now, of course, the pig's body has legs sticking out, and that makes it spin very off balance. It's kind of hard on the, you know, the machine that I have to rotate it with. So I nip them off at the knees with the chainsaw, and I also take their heads off that way, because I don't eat the heads. And quite frankly, my machine isn't long enough to put a 130-pound pig on there with a head on, so it makes it quite simple. Now, I was trained how to kill and prepare a pig you know, just the way a butcher would do it by a professional butcher who works at AMP. He said the modern way they kill them is they have a bolt action, usually air powered or electric gun, that shoots a, a ramming bolt into the head and that stuns and sillies them up so that they're able to slash the throat very quickly so that they can bleed and then they're quickly hung upside down to finish the bleeding process because the heart keeps beating until all the blood is gone. Every time I've done it, I just used a rifle and shot them in the head with a real bullet. That puts them right on the ground and their body is still alive. Sure their legs and nerves are kicking. And then I cut their throat. It's a very messy job and sometimes they start squealing while you're cutting their throat and you feel very bad. It's, it's a horrible situation. I didn't like it at all. But this is the way that all animals are processed for food pretty much anywhere in the world. It's just a necessary process. Now one of my haters on YouTube has found a video that I made many years ago showing that I shot a pig in the head for my pig roast and then I immediately cut its head off with a chainsaw. Of course, as soon as the saw severed its spine five seconds after the time I shot it, it immediately felt no pain. But, in classic Dave's farm style, I decided to ham this one up and do some 
acting in my evil laugh and of course hold up the bloody chainsaw. Well now he's created an uproar with my other haters and they've teamed up against me. But this is silly. The video only shows the part of where the actual bleeding took place and the death. The rest of the video, which isn't posted on the internet, shows us properly pressure washing it, cleaning it, gutting it, and then roasting and cooking it afterwards. No big deal. It caused a police investigation many years ago when it was on the internet, but nothing became of it. They got to see the whole video and realized that was actually more humane than cutting the throat. It just looked gory, but there was no pain with no head. So I'll, so I'll show you a few snippets from the rest of the video because the whole video was 20 minutes long, not two minutes. And you can see the normal process in which I was also training my friend how to gut this pig. And he really enjoyed it. Didn't bother him one bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. You're parting the bacon right now. Look at that surgeon. Oh, you're getting... It's very warm in there. That's called core body, body temperature. Okay, hold that shit in there. The wolf's salivating. Mm. Oh, it's all well, shit. kidneys out. No way, Dave. Mmm, headless pig smells good today. So if you like beer and bacon, Please support me for my upcoming court case so I stay out of jail and can keep producing more of the great Dave's Farm videos that you're used to. <laughs>